we're here, we are not out of sight, we are not out of mind, and we are going to make a bigger noise. These demonstrations are going to grow and grow and grow. And Profits should never come before patience. The Abbott government's proposed $7 co-payment is the first of many attacks on the principles of Medicare. I was so horrified and appalled by this very unfair budget. It's an attack on the poor, the disabled and the sick. Well, so many are not yet aware of just how damaging these policies are going to be on our way of life. The co-payment is just a start. It goes against all my beliefs to subsidise a class-based private health business. These are not the policies of a government that has any understanding of, nor any concern for the well-being of its people. 123 people every day in the US die because they can't afford health care. It's the equivalent of a plane crashing every day in the US. We don't want that madness here. The very basis of our fair and just society need to be fought hard for. This election will kick the bastards out. The Medicare system and our public services are worth fighting for, and I look forward to having that fight with you. They can find the money for some things. They can find the money for Brookvale Oval. They can, they can find the money for 58 new fighter jets. For the cost of $24 billion, a whole bunch of fighter jets to go and bomb and destroy people's homes and lives in other countries. They can find billions of dollars to lock up refugees in faraway islands, in detention centres that are killing, killing refugees. It's a bloody disgrace. The reality is the money is there. The whole logic of this whole co-payment idea is that the money isn't there, but the money is there. We know the money's there. A decent healthcare system can be supported through progressive taxation and not by slugging working people with fees every time they need to see a doctor or get a test. We spend 9% of our GDP on health. The United States that these characters so want us to become spends 18% of their GDP. For half the price, we get twice the health. Mike Baird, Mr Abbott's little mate here in New South Wales, is busy trying to privatise our public hospitals. Oh, yeah. Northern Beaches Hospital will not be a public hospital. He's going to close down two public hospitals and open up a private hospital run, run by a private corporation for the purposes of private corporate profits. They say that the health budget is about to consume the entire GDP. Only one problem with that it is a bald-faced, straightforward lie. If our health budget grows at all as a percentage GDP over the next decade, it might be by 0.1%, from 9% to 9.1%, back to where it was five years ago. There is no budget emergency and there is no health budget emergency. It was an excuse, always an excuse, to attack public services, to attack public housing, public health, public transport and public medicine. Six billion dollars that they are taking out and handing over to the large corporations. Six billion dollars of health services we will not get. This co-payment is a, is a thin edge of a very, very thick wedge that Mr Abbott and Mr Dutton want to drive right through the heart of the civilising influences of Medicare. We will win this because the people of Australia, when they know what's happening to them, will not take this lying down. It is not just our public health system. It is not just our public transport system, our public education system, our public housing. It is much more than that. What is happening here is a arrow right at the heart of everything that is good and decent about Australia and its future. Mr Abbott, we want our country back. Yeah.